Welcome to Strip Coverlet, where we squeeze the bigger picture out of literature. We are here for an Ask Adrian Anything. Uh, Ask Adrian Anything number five, and this video will be part of two playlists. Obviously, the Ask Adrian Anything, but also uh, the Dirty 30. 30 videos in 30 days where we celebrate the fact that we crossed 3,000 subscribers as a channel. And today's question comes to us from Melly Bean. Melly Bean has her very own channel called Stranger Thinks, which I will link in the description below. But she asks... Have you ever thought that there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? Also, would you ever consider filming a lingerie haul? <clears throat> Is there more to life than being really, really ridiculously good looking? I like to think so. I don't know. I've never been on the other side of things. Perhaps that is a better question for Ask Dalton anything. Um, but I'm going to treat this as a little bit of a different question than what it says. I think that there is more underlined than simply is there more to it, which suggests what is there? Um, so this is a literature channel. Is there more to life than literature? I don't think so. And the reason is that literature is a reflection of the human experience and anything that any of us can experience has probably occurred somewhere in literature. So I think that that is a semi-nonsensical question. Is there more to life than literature? Because literature is simply a reflection. Is there more to you than your reflection in the mirror? Yeah, sure. There's a lot more going on there, but it's hard to see. Um, is there more to life than the reflection represented in literature? Maybe. I, but it is difficult to see, it is difficult to separate. Um, so I think I'm going to treat this as more of a meaning of life question than anything. Is there more to life than those menial puzzles with which we struggle on a daily basis? More to life than the grind of living? More to life than uh, waking up only to end up falling back asleep before we've really fixed ourselves, before we've changed anything, before we've figured out God and sounded the horns for all of humanity to follow. Is there more to life than that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, this is the struggle for meaning in a meaningless universe. Uh, this is the greatest trial of being, and there is more, I believe, than simply the trial. There is the answer. Nietzsche said, when I know my why, I can endure any how. When I know my why, I can endure any how. Which is a very grandiose statement, but one that that is reassuring, one that maybe focuses the conversation, if not the argument, one that focuses us in on an answer rather than a question, it seems. But there is still a question because odds are we do not know our why. Our with the capital O. What is it for which we are living? Uh, I think even if we think we know, odds are that changes at some point, right? Um, do you have the same life goals and circumstance which you had in high school? Personally, I do not. Um, but in a sort of Zen sense, not having this hour with the capital O, why? Uh, we have a lot of small why's. Why do we go to work? Why do we go to school? Why do we brush our teeth? Um, and with these small why's in hand, we are equipped to lead our moment-to-moment -moment life with a sort of mission, as if it had a mission statement. Moment-to-moment uh, -moment or menial tasks become practice. They become training. You go to work and bust the most totes you can in order to understand what it means to be better, to get better, the learning process, the struggle process, uh, the hard working process. You do your homework with your own learning in mind as opposed to a syllabus. You brush your teeth like you're trying to keep them. That way when our Y, the capital O and the big Y, 
presents itself, uh, we are a well-oiled machine of execution, prepared to seize opportunity and endure a whole lot of how, because the how will come. You will have to endure the how. Um, even for these small tasks, because these small tasks don't go away, right? You still have to get up and brush your teeth, even if you're living for literature. You still have to go to work, even if you're living for literature. You still have to um, learn new things, even if you're living for literature. You just have to find a way to maneuver these small things around in order to best suit the big Y, the capital hour, which leads us directly to lingerie hall. Funny you should ask. Most of my best ideas, and by best ideas, I mean strictly those with which I am most willing to toil, start with a question and lead to a shit-eating grin and a fit of schoolgirl laughter. Where are the men's lifestyle vlogs on YouTube? And the try-on hauls? Uh, general interest videos? Maybe they exist, but if they do, I do not know of them. And if I did know of them, I don't think that I would be interested in them. I don't think I would want to watch them. I don't think that it would hold my interest at all. And I don't know why that is. Because there, there, is, a, if, there is a large market for women's uh, general interest vlogs try on hauls, all of these sort of things. But a lot of the channels that I've come across anyway, geared towards men, the Elliot Hulses of the world, their Ask Elliot question videos, or the uh, Hodge twins, based again around questions. You have male YouTube sensations like PewDiePie based around gaming. Uh, the YouTube phenomenon such as Jordan Peterson, which becomes questions or his lectures or uh, him going on different shows, things like that. But there is not the large, at least that I know of, the large number of uh, general interest men's YouTubers. And I don't know why. And I don't know why. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be interested in it if it did exist. So, I think, I, I might have lied to you earlier this month in the middling booktuber tag when I said that the movie review channel would be the next channel to come from uh, the lineage of strip cover lit. That might not be true. I might be doing lingerie hauls and the like. So if you like this sort of thing, uh, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button below. I've gotten a lot of trolls on this channel recently who are going through my backlogs and hitting dislikes. You can It's weird that the YouTube analytics basically show you that. It's, it's, it's very interesting to go through YouTube analytics and see what you can decipher from them. Um, hit subscribe if you have not. Uh, and I hope to see you for the next in the series of Ask Adrian Anything, and I hope to see you for the next in the Dirty 30.